Right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Matt Moishat sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some more plays out of the Packers Gun Bunch. Uh, this is definitely a popular playbook. I get so many requests for it. Uh, this particular one here, I'm going to go over a lot of plays that uh, are really pro favorites, pro preferred um, concepts that you know pretty much everybody runs. Uh, these are these are done to death to a certain extent, but if you're not aware of them, you're going to get them on this video. So let's go ahead and let's um, pick the first play. If you want to see uh, the first. Uh, video from this series uh, that's that one right there is um, they're all my concepts they're, they're you're not gonna find those concepts anywhere else but these are very simple very basic uh, that like I said everybody uh, really uses a lot really uses heavy and a lot of the pros already know uh, but you might not so if you're watching this video I hope you don't uh, but either way we're gonna go ahead into the first play which is the Z spot and go this is really new to this year a lot of these plays are um, you know, play been been in the game for years, but the Z spot and go is really new. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that one, and we'll go uh, random nickel. One of the thing, one of these things about a lot of the plays I'm going to show you um, today, they're not really a lot of audibles or adjustments. This one here, your only real audible or adjustment is motioning out Montgomery. But I find that uh, Madden kind of or EA rather kind of changed how effective these are this year when you motion them out. You still get a nice little catch and run there. Got close to ten. I don't know if, you know, from me, people like me, I've used those table routes so much in my plays last year. I don't know if they uh, took that into account and uh, changed the uh, effectiveness of them, but they're not as fast to the outside anymore. Um, you see there, you know, the, the, the right side there, you really got to cover two beater with Cobb and Bennett, by the way. Didn't really mention that. But um, but the, the R1 route, if you have a speedy tight end, I'd be getting much more catch and run yards. Your bench like a 70-something speed. But if you have a fast tight end, that's definitely going to be a bigger play. And that's going to be the one that you get the most. Uh, so here we got... Oh, wow. Really, bro? It's a nice shoestring tackle by the by the defender. Uh, but this um, this play here is really good. Really open to the sideline there. You see how he gets that beats that man coverage. I don't know if that was a man coverage or a zone coverage. But you see how quickly um, he gets open there. And then the other side, you got uh, Jordy Nelson in a nice corner strike cover two beater. Uh, and what makes this play different than like uh, the plays you saw last year is what Adams is doing. He's really going to be effective uh, in two ways. Like there he stops, and I had to take it because the heat was coming. But you also have him going up the center in a lot of cover twos. Like there, I wanted, I wanted to wait a little bit. They're really sending pressure my way. But you can see how he's open in the middle. If you have any cover twos, well, this doesn't look like a cover two. This looks like a cover three. But if you have any cover twos, that circle route is going to be really dynamic. It'll, go, it'll get open right up the middle. Yeah, a lot of uh, users might sit on that, and then when it takes off, you can see how you can pass lead it to any number of directions, and it's open. So that's a really good, uh, really good route for uh, uh, the beat users. And uh, like I said, these flats, it's got great flats on both sides, so really good play. Like I said, this whole video is going to be um, concepts that some people might know. But if you don't know them, these are all like the pro, the top pro preferred concepts. Uh, the next one, I guess I'll go over the Z spot because it's really similar to the Z spot and go, uh, but it's a little bit different. I mean, the only thing here that's really not typical is what Nelson's doing. He doesn't typically typically that's like an option route or a double post, which um, isn't in this play. So if I if anything, I'd probably put him on an out on an in route and then smart route him. If it's a cover three though, I'd probably put him on an out route and a smart route because that's a really easy cover three beater. Um, but you have the same concept with Cobb and Bennett. Uh, Adams though, he's just going to stop. He's not going to keep going like he did in the last play. Um, so in my you know estimation putting him on a, a slant is pretty good or um, even putting him on a streak uh, sometimes is not too bad um, you know if, if if Nelson's on a double or in a uh, in, in route smart routed um, that'll work against him a little bit so there's a couple different ways that you can do this um, that you can see I don't like him stopping the stopping part to me is not the best route or you're on just like this I just would do something with Nelson's route I don't find it's a very effective route um, by itself, so if you if, if you put him in something a little bit different, you can see he gets open there. If I'm reading cover three, it's a, just an easy cover three beater. Uh, but I'll run just like this. Like I said, it's um, this outside route to Cobb is really good. So I'm going to put uh, Nelson on this out route. Like I said, if you guys don't know, that's just a really simple cover three beater uh, that works like pretty much every time. Or the comeback works pretty good too. Right, so keeping up with pro day, pro <laughs> pro concept day at uh, Mad Money Shots. Uh, the next play I'm going to show is the corner strike. Uh, this here I went over a little bit in the Z spot and go. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll pick this. Uh, but there's not a lot really to describe here. You're really just going high or low between um, your flats and your uh, and your um, 
your C, excuse me, your C routes, and you can see how it's just, you know, one of them is going to be open pretty much every time. You almost have to run a double Mabel to both sides to kind of, to kind of stop this. Wow. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to, you can really toe tap that. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the only thing I don't really like this X route here, I like it when it comes right up the middle a little bit, but I'm not a huge fan of that route in particular. I find that um, he becomes ineffective at a certain point, but you can see um, that's a cover four right there. You can see how he just comes up right in the middle. The best route to me is probably Adams, the red route. Um, he's just a really good route to the sideline. Not a lot of things can cover that. He didn't hang on to it. It's whatever. But, um, but that's going to be your most consistent route. I'm going to throw it to the X route here. That route, like I said, he, oh, he shook that dude? I thought, man, I thought he was going to go. Come on, bro. Um, but yeah, this um, this is just a really good play. Like I said, another a good pro concept play. Not a lot of adjustments. Uh, really none at all. You can motion the running back out. That's about it. If you want to, you can take Montgomery to the sideline. Um, but uh, but that's about it. So uh, I'll run this one more time. You see his X route, man. He's really, I was underselling that X route. He's getting open in multiple ways. So really good play. Run just like this. No real, no real crazes. No, no, uh. You know, no bunch of adjustments, motion this, motion that. <laughs> All that craziness. I can see why the pros love it. Um, and then you got um, Bennett over here is just another good check down underneath the circle route. So, you know, no adjustments. Real simple. Moving on. That's about it. The only other play is the PA post. But, like I said, I don't run that play. Uh, I think what I'm thinking, I've watched this play run a million times. But I never take the time to put into it. From what I see, uh, I typically see them motion this guy out and then hike it while the guy's in motion. Um, and I just, like I said, it's not my play. But uh, you can see how, you know, with that simple adjustment, this guy's open deep. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is exactly how it's run. But um, but this is, this is the setup that I see nine times out of ten when I watch these guys running this. Um, it just kind of creates a two concept between those two wide receivers, I guess. Pulls coverage a little bit better um, than if he just if he stands where he is. Uh, but like I said, this is one in particular that's not, um, you know, that 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 dude's just. Uh, I could have threw it a couple times, but I thought I thought at some point the defender would turn around and mess that up. But I guess I guess it never happened. So, uh, but like I said, go, well, as far as pro concepts go, this is what this video is all about. Um, there's a lot of stuff um, going on here. Uh, that uh, it's really it's probably the most preferred uh, formation by uh, by pro pro Madden players by far is the bunch and I heard people say that they toned it down I don't know I don't know about that I don't know about that bro seems the same to me so that one like I said real simple another pro concept moving on and one more pro concept the verticals we'll go ahead and we'll pick that this one here you're just gonna motion this guy out put him on a slant. This is how I run it. I'm not sure if this is how the pros run it. They, they might run it just like this if you want to know the truth about it. Uh, but this is, like I said, still a very popular play. I particularly like to put him on a route, motion him out, and put him on a slant. Or even a drag. I mean, just something to come open underneath. As everything's pulling back, I want something underneath all that. That's a cover four. I just see Cobb there uh, getting deep. So we'll just run this a couple times like this. I, but like I said, I find, I mean, you want a bigger play putting uh i mean in this particular play i might just put him on an out route because it doesn't seem like there's any coverage over there that's just kind of a, a pre-snap read although he actually did stay low i thought that was going to be a, a deeper coverage yeah every play i have somebody that's kind of a you know swiss army knife which you really have to just look at the coverage to decide what you want to do with them um, but the one that i would do the most would definitely be uh the triangle route here because he pulls that linebacker down you see how he pulled that linebacker down there for cobb to get open deep um, the drag is just like, you know, you can still cover this. The, the, the triangle route on a slant is a little bit easier to cover. But on a uh, if he's on a drag, he's going to be open every time. That's his guaranteed check down. Um, it takes him a little bit to get across the field because he's flanked out kind of wide. But um, the triangle, because uh, all these guys pulling, pulling coverages, and I, I threw the damn ball. Uh, but if you want a guaranteed check down, Montgomery is really going to be um, a really good guaranteed check down um, which you know i'm still i'm getting the deeper guy anyway so i'm going to take that but i'll go ahead and run this one more time i'm trying to hit the drag route it's funny that I'm, I'm, I'm running this play over and over just so i can show the drag route i wish he was a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage that's part of the issue 
but uh, because everybody's pulling back, um, he's going to be open once he gets across the field. I don't really show off the Adams route either, too. If it's if it's like a cover three, you can throw it right away. Pass, lead him outside. Nice, easy catch and run. That's an important play. It's an important route. Cover twos might not be the way to go, but you can see he's just open right away. And if he can catch and run with a little acceleration turn up field, you can get a nice big gain. Depending on the, how far back your coverage uh, corner is, too. I mean, he could uh, he could get some big yards. I'm going to get him like 15 there. So that's it. That's all the plays. That's uh, I'll end it on that. Um, you know, really a really good formation. I think this is why the Packers, a lot of people use the Packers playbook because of all these pro concepts in one playbook where a lot of other playbooks don't have all of them. So that's it. Uh, check your favorite playbook though because a lot of playbooks have a gun bunch with a lot of them in it. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Moish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Money,